fail. So I kind of really struggled. Well, not entirely struggled, but I didn't really know what to do for a floor because I um, I'm practically done. I'm still waiting for the TSA to do its thing. Currently, though, for Category Three, they're up up to October sixteen. They do about two a day. Um, the other thing that I'm studying, so I don't have to go through the TSA again, is for my naturalization test, which is um, for the immigration. Like you become a citizen, and then I won't have to deal with that again. Um, I recently, on the twenty-first of this month I went to get my biometrics done and I had to go and wait I now have to wait to um, see what happens like I gotta wait seven months for the interview I guess so they give you this little booklet to help study um, the convenient thing is they have everything that's in the book on the little app on the phone that you can download on anything and you can practice the uh, the question 20 get 20 questions is pretty easy the question challenge is hard because there's like a hundred questions that they can ask you and you've got to try and get everyone right um, the school your, your record um, uh, gets erased when they update the questions because they only just updated the speak of the house because they still had Paul Ryan as the speak of the house when it's Pelosi now so let's just I thought I could have a little fun. We can have a little fun and go through this together. So those who can't hit read. That's World War One. Near how many U.S. senators are there? A oh, hundred. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? All of these answers. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John G. Roberts Jr. Who is in the char uh, who is in charge of the executive branch? A monkey right now. Uh, who is the father of the country? George Washington. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Hi, Emoji. Hey, Fiona. Uh, who does a U.S. Senator represent? All the people of the state. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Name one right only US citizens, uh, for only U.S. citizens, one for federal office. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. Who signs bills to become laws? The president. They just did the Hong Kong uh, bill now. Uh, during the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? I would have thought ovens and oven mitts and stuff to keep them warm, but no, it's communism. What are two parts of the U.S. Congress? Mm, the Senate and the House of Representatives. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific. What is the name of the President of the United States now? That's a tough one. Um, oof. I wouldn't really call him a President, but whatever. What is one promise you make when you become a United States? Give up loyalties to other countries. That ain't gotta be a problem. What is the political party of the President right now? <laughs> I would say he's independent, but he's Republican. Officially. Why do some states have more representatives than others? Because of the state's population. Guam is a US territory. Finish and check my answers. Huzzah! 20 out of 20. See, they're not that, that the, the 20 questions is not that hard. So, next is 
you answer and it keeps your score until you get one one then you go back to zero and then you keep your high score hmm. so in what month do we vote for a president November the House of Representatives has how many voting members 435 what does the judicial branch do? Smoke a peace pipe? Eh, all of these answers. How many amendments does the Constitution have? The same as the Yankees have World Series wins. 27. What is the economic system of the United States? A capitalist economy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general what war was he in? Number two. Under constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provides school and education. We just had that question. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Treat slaves in most southern states. Franklin D. Roosevelt. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. During the Cold War, what was the main concern? Communism. And we just had that one too. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Not a lot. De uh, I wish that was true. But it was Britain. What is the political party of the president now? Republican. Well, that's an easy one. It, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. What is freedom of religion? George wasn't in. Everyone must follow the law, unless your name's Trump, apparently. What are two ways in the Declaration of Independence? Life in pursuit of happiness. What is an amendment? A correction. A change to the Constitution. Name one state that borders Mexico. Oh, we all know that one. Name one of two longest rivers. It's the Mississippi River. Uh, American Indians. Floridians. Uh, fought for women's rights. Who is the Speaker of the House of Representatives? They just updated this. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of worship and freedom to make treaties with other country. I wish that was true. Both President and Speaker of the House. Ah, uh, here we go. This is where my saying goes. How to send six. House to send six. Uh, a US diplomat. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Everyone was so civil towards each other, that's why. Because the stripes represent the original colonies. Name one white only for the United States citizens. Run for federal office. Uh, da, 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 1787. John G. Roberts. April 15th. What is the highest court in the United States? The Court of Hertica. <laughs> I got that one initially because I had it took me a second to realize that America joined the Second World War after Russia switched sides because Russia was technically against the Allies at first. Who vetoes bills? Ted. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Um, James Madison, I think. Oh, I got that one. Oh, I was getting that one. See, it goes right back to zero. 
High score is 54. <laughs> what is one way to freedom of the First Amendment? Speech. Ah, oh, 1776. Four years. What are two ways Amer that Americans can participate in all of these answers? <laughs> that was a tough one. Uh, save or preserve the Union. July 4th. It's kind of fun. Um, what is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Give up loyalties. You know, the answer is the Congress. But technically, I would argue that the president does because it, the other question is who signs bills that to make them turn laws is the president. So technically, the president makes laws, the Congress makes bills. But it's Congress apparently that makes laws. The United States, there's nine judges, it, it, the court is impact. Goodness knows, because there's certainly none right now. Uh, what's the capital of the United States? You. Uh, the Civil War. That's Mike Pence. Funny he doesn't use his middle name. 18. Star Spangled Banner. To join a civic group, Guam. Oof, fought for civil rights. Two. Uh, Maryland, Virginia. No, uh, yeah, North Carolina. Cherokee. One star for each state. Woodwell Risen, the Louisiana Territories, Secretary of State, Secretary of Labor, also the Vice President, and uh, Agriculture, and all the others. The President. Not a lot. They can try, but they don't. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of all of these answers. Because the British were twats, that's why. Civil rights movement. To declare war. See who signs bills to become laws. So until he signs the bills, they're not laws. So Congress makes bills, the president makes laws. Not a lot. Maine. <laughs> uh, uh, the Mexican American War. Maybe that's one war that Trump would actually fight. Uh, how old do citizens have to be in order to vote 18 or older? Unless you're a Mexican? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Mm. There's 100. Uh, in New York Harbor. 
can also say New Jersey because it's in in New Jersey state, but the it stands on the Staten Island, which is uh, Liberty Island. I mean, which is in New York. The land itself is in New York, but the ocean around it is New Jersey. Go for you. Uh, Democratic and Republican. A waste of time. Um, no one won in nineteen hundreds. World War One. We the British now. <laughs> we the people. Congress on the east coast is the Atlantic. November. Yay! New high school. Uh, all of these answers. There are 27 changes. There's a capitalist economy. Woohoo! 60%! Um, before he was president, Eisenhower's Second World War. Franklin D. Roosevelt, the Constitution, Communism, the West Coast is the Pacific, not a lot to be honest, uh, Republican, Urgent or not practice seventy per cent. Yay. Everyone must follow the law. Preamble. California. Seventy per cent. Mississippi River. Fought for women's rights. Nancy Pelosi. Freedom of speech and worship. 80%. Wow. If both the president and vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. How to send six. A U.S. diplomat. T. Uh, one of the federal office. April 15th, the Supreme Court, Japan, Germany and Italy, the President, I thought it was that last time, so Thomas Jefferson, yes. Um, adopted. Oh, for fuck's sake! For five questions away. Oh, seventeen seventy-six. Oh. Hey right, guys, so I think I, I'm gonna take that as I'm prepared for the test. <laughs> you only you only get asked ten. And uh, you only have to get 
get six correct and then they just stop. <sighs> so I'm going to keep reviewing, of course, so I don't forget it by the time seven months comes again. But you go, that's the little preamble blog. So I'm reviewing this and all the flight stuff too. So adios amigos.